Nikon welcomes you to One Camera, Two Perspectives. Featuring the new Nikon D800 camera shot by cinematographer Kirk Neff and photographer Christian Bogner. This is day two behind the scenes of our two-day Project Epic shoot. Looks good at 36 megapixel. Right there. <laughs> That's the money, baby. <laughs> I'm packing uh, 85, 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, two times style converter, 105 VR, 14 to 24, fisheye and a 50, D4 and a D800. What else would I be packing? <laughs> and I got 300 mil to boot. And um, they are starting the first kite school in Canada here and uh, doing a demo for us. We've got a lot of snow happening um, so it's a little difficult conditions but uh, we're going to try to create something and, and use the elements that we have and create something beautiful with it. I'm starting to feel this, I'm starting to feel the energy. It's clearing up for us, the wind's picking up. These guys are, are starting to dial it in here and uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking the look. Shooting with a wide angle lens, it makes it look a little bit extreme. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. It's coming right at me. Awesome. You've always gotta be ready for the moment. You kill yourself if you stake your eye off the viewfinder for a sec and you miss that like sick, sick jump, the best of the day. So you always have to be ready, at least holding your camera half mast. They catch air, I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture it. This sucker. The other nice thing about it, it's snowing out, it's got a nice big lens hood. So it's gonna protect my lens from getting a lot of stuff in it, which is really good. Sometimes in life you just gotta wait it out and the good, the good stuff comes. The people who wait. Nice. When you shoot extreme sports, you never know what challenges you're going to face. It can be a lot of work, but it's also wicked fun. While walking out to the cliff to do ice climbing with the athletes, I brought up a steady cam and started doing some steady cam shots while walking through basically a trail that was basically that wide. So we're gonna do a shot here. A little unexposed underneath because it's shady and then we got the sun, so I've actually exposed for the sun. What I'm gonna try to do, walk through this trail and reveal this big mountain of ice. Okay, dude, so pick up your boot. Okay, good. A little bit more. Okay, go ahead. All right, here we are at Hafner Creek on the uh, epic Nikon shoot. Uh, we've got two world-class climbers here and ice climbers, and uh, we have sunshine and blue sky. What we've been waiting for, uh, Kirk and I are pretty much, uh, we're like vibrating with enthusiasm and excitement. This is uh, this is couldn't be a more incredible location, uh, and uh, we've got the best cameras on earth to play with, and uh, it's game on. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually setting up a pocket wizard to my Nikon so that uh, I can shoot um, from. We're gonna rappel down and we can shoot from the wall across the ice. So every time I click the shutter, it will remote trigger uh, the camera down below. One of the coolest new features of the D800 is that you can shoot time lapses in camera. 
We had a ton of fun with this feature. It was Kirk's first time rappelling and he rocked it. Just goes to show that you do whatever it takes to get the shot. Kirk and I up on the jump, and uh, this is we got Kirk's got uh, 1424 hooked up right at the lip of the jump. Uh, I've got uh, 50 mil 1.4, and uh, it's showtime, folks. Here we go, Ryan Hartland up on the jump. Bam, sucker! Yeah, epic Nikon. Lake Louise was a lot of fun. Christian and I were pretty pumped, and I think the athletes felt that from us, and they were pretty excited as well. They did some great jumps. I brought up the, the jib, and I had the steady cam, but the jib shots were just perfect. Uh, to set up the jib, because I didn't have any monitor to view from, I mean, you have the LCD, which is a little wider on the D800 now, but still doesn't do great when it's up about eight feet high, obviously. So I used the 14 to 24, closed up the aperture, put it on infinity, and I just made sure that the camera was full wide. So when you're doing your shots, at least you knew that you could put them all in to frame. And the shots look great, shooting 720, 60 frames per second. Okay. <laughs> it was okay. It, it was sweet. Yeah, you did a lot of stills up there too. Like, how was it? How did it go with the low light or with the flashing? Uh, you know, I was blown away. The D800 is way more responsive than I thought. I mean, I, I absolutely love my D4. It uh, it kicks butt for sports, but uh, to be able to shoot at 36 megapixel and to be able to capture the action as well as I did, and to be able to have the high ISO capabilities that it does, um, it's uh, sort of it's uh, a little mind blowing, to be honest. Well, for me, I, I use a D7000 a lot. It was my first DSLR I've ever used to shoot video. So, for me, shooting with a full frame camera and the ruggedness of the camera itself, with how wet it got last night when we put it in your fireplace, I mean, they were soaking wet. So, phenomenal the way they work today. We didn't have any problems at all. No problems at all with any of them. It's awesome to see the detail, like to. You know, this morning we were shooting ice climbing, and to be able to like shoot, you know, with a with a relatively wide lens and zoom in, like it felt like infinitely zoom in and see crushing detail. It was, it's amazing. I, even showing the athletes that you know that that shoot this stuff and shoot with other, you know, productions and things like that, and showing them that kind of detail. I mean, I think it was really cool. It, like it inspired them. You know, it was like this co-creation. They're paying attention to the things that you know pros need, and what I think pros need, I think also will hugely benefit you know any consumer, uh, you know beginner, amateur, and whatever, because you know we have to deal with this stuff like under the extreme conditions, and if it works for us, it'll probably work for you. Us meaning photography, video. So 800 thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. 800. One camera, two perspectives. 